I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. What? What you talking about, mister? <laughs> but going to Mars should be uh, one of the next series of steps that humans do. The first step should be going back to the moon for a number of technical uh, reasons and exploration reasons and then after that Mars, maybe a uh, high orbit in uh, Venus atmosphere, maybe going to Europa. There's all kinds of uh, targets to go to places of interest in our solar system. The, the only limit to human future is in our own imaginations. So now it comes out, according to Don Pettit. We destroyed the technology. It would be too painful to build it back. Well, we may have destroyed the hardware, but how do you destroy technology? We're 50 years advanced in technology from then. It should be easy to make a Saturn V rocket. It should be easy to build a lunar lander. It should be incredibly simple to make a moon buggy. But yet we don't. And there's a very simple reason why we don't. And that is because we never went to the moon. We can't go to the moon. The moon is a light in the sky. And NASA knows it. They've been stealing our money for decades. They want to keep stealing our money. And so long as we let goons like Didgeridoo Boy here double talk us, into believing that we can go to Mars, but we can't go back to the moon, is just crazy. People need to understand that we are in a world of liars, and it's all about money. They want the money. They can't steal your money if they don't give you a good story. And the space fantasy story is the one that has made them the most money from the very beginning. It's the best scam they've ever come up with. Makes the lottery look like grandma's bingo game. You know what I'm saying? Billions and billions and billions and trillions of dollars spent. And all we do is get Don Pettit playing the didgeridoo and explaining how we've lost ancient technology from 50 years ago. Hello, I'm William Attlee and this is a News Brief with Truth. See the men on the screen. They are the ancestors of the African American, but there is a problem. Their true identity. Thomas McNeely has the story. Well, William, the African American community is deeply divided due to the tagline, African Americans ain't Africans, which can be found in numerous places on the web. Now, it should be obvious as to why it's causing a commotion, but if it escapes you, let me explain. The current American education states African Americans were brought to America as slaves from Africa, which is simply not true. <laughs> In 
They are American indigenous, not descendants of Africans. As they say, the truth is stranger than fiction. Although this fact isn't spoken of openly, it's not a secret. However, with programming such as Roots, 12 Years a Slave, The African American Story, and The Book of Negroes, is it any wonder why so many African Americans are confused? We won't address all the misleading DNA tests being provided to connect African Americans to Africa. So, the argument is, do they continue identifying as African Americans, which is a fake identity for them, or embrace being identified as indigenous Americans? Are there any consequences of choosing one identity over the other? Uh, William, that's a good question. Um, according to African Americans Ain't Africans Facebook forum, identifying as African American is to quietly relinquish ancestral connections to America. Connections that go back hundreds of thousands of years. A curious story, but one appropriate for February, which is Black History Month in the United States. Uh, what's a conundrum? A story worth keeping an eye on for further developments. Thank you, Thomas. The drawing used in this presentation is from the 16th century book, America being the latest and most accurate description of the New World by John Ogilby and Arnoldus Montanus. As you may have guessed, the men in the drawing are American. I'm William Attlee and this has been a News Brief with Truth. Let's just change the name as much as possible to throw you all off so you really don't know what's going on. Let's keep switching the identity to hide the people. Why don't we just keep renaming you? Are you Negro? Oh, no, 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 you're not Negro. No, 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 you're colored. No, 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 you're not colored. You're African American. And this is what they name you. The slavers name you this. Because I know a white guy who grew up in South Africa. <laughs> and he now lives in America. He is an African American. And more African American than most. 